Have you ever wondered how a handful of seeds sown by farmers can turn into a massive political storm? In the year 2020, this seemingly absurd question became a stark reality in India. Our story begins with the introduction of the new farm laws. These laws, aimed at deregulating the agricultural sector, sparked a wave of apprehension among the farming community. Farmers feared that these laws would leave them at the mercy of large corporations, stripping them of their bargaining power. The government, on the other hand, assured that these laws would revolutionize the sector, increasing farmers' income and productivity. However, these assurances fell on deaf ears and the seeds of discontent were sown. The farmers, united in their fears and concerns, began to protest. The initial public reaction was a combination of sympathy and bewilderment as the nation watched the farming community rise in unison. And thus, a peaceful protest turned into a nationwide movement. But how did a local protest escalate into a national issue and eventually a global concern? One might ask. The answer lies in the power of social media and the influence of international celebrities. As the farmer's plight was shared and reshared, hashtags went viral and influencers started to take notice. Global icons like Rihanna and Greta Thunberg amplified the issue, increasing its visibility exponentially. However, the government's response was not as welcoming. Instead of addressing the farmer's concerns, they dismissed the international attention as misinformation and propaganda. This hardline stance only fueled the fire, causing the protest to grow in scale and intensity. In the midst of this, whispers began to circulate about the involvement of Khalistani separatists. These rumors sparked a wave of controversy, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. But were these allegations based on fact or were they just conspiracy theories? As the protest gained more attention, it also attracted controversy and conspiracy theories. In 2022, the protests reached a critical juncture, but what was the outcome? As the country held its breath, the government made an unexpected move. They decided to repeal the controversial farm laws that had sparked the protests. This decision was met with a wave of relief and celebration from the protesting farmers. The public too breathed a collective sigh of relief as the tension that had gripped the nation began to ease. But the repeal was only a part of the story. The farmers' demands did not end with the scrapping of the laws. They continued to ask for a legally guaranteed minimum support price for their crops, a demand that became a rallying cry for the movement. This ongoing struggle highlighted the deep-seated issues within India's agricultural sector, issues that could not be resolved with a single legislative rollback. The political implications of the decision were far-reaching. The government, which had initially stood firm in the face of the protests, was seen to have backed down. This stirred up a flurry of debates and discussions on the balance of power between the government and the people. It was a reminder that the voice of the people, when united, can bring about significant change. On the other hand, the involvement of Khalistani elements in the protests raised concerns about the manipulation of such movements for vested interests. This underscored the need for vigilance and scrutiny in distinguishing between genuine demands for justice and attempts at inciting unrest. Looking forward, the future of farming in India remains uncertain. The repeal of the laws was a victory for the farmers, but it also opened up a Pandora's box of questions about agricultural reform. How will the government address the farmers' demands? What steps will be taken to ensure the sustainability and profitability of farming? These are questions that linger in the minds of many. In the end, the protest marked a significant victory for the farmers and raised important questions about the future of agriculture in the country. So where do we stand now? The dust has settled and the echoes of the protest chants have faded, but the impact of the farmers' protests still lingers. The protests have not only shaped the course of agricultural reforms, but also underscored the power of peaceful assembly. They have demonstrated that when voices unite in a chorus of dissent, even the most formidable institutions are compelled to listen. Lessons have been learned, not just by those in the corridors of power, but by every farmer, every citizen who bore witness to this momentous chapter in our history. The conversation has broadened, moving beyond the immediate concerns of the protest to larger discussions about agricultural policies, farmers' rights and the very fabric of our democracy. The protests may have ended, but the dialogue continues. In homes, in fields, in the halls of governance, the conversation about agricultural reforms and farmers' rights continues. 
It's a conversation that promises to shape the future of our nation. While the protest may have ended, the conversation about agricultural reforms and farmers' rights continues.